Now see the screws they gave me, they're kind of small and the head isn't in there really super deep. So my fear is if I try to screw this all the way in, it might, I might strip the head out. I can try it. If you got the battery operated drill, that would be good too. Okay, now the, the thing with this is I'm going into the side of the cabinet. That cabinet is three quarters of an inch thick and you can measure it, especially if, if, if you're somewhere where there's a door and not a drawer. In this case, there's a drawer. We've got a side style there. So this screw is gonna stick on the inside of this just a little bit, but it should be small, short enough so it's not gonna hit the edge of the drawer. Now, if you didn't have a drawer, if you had a door, let's say there, this screw might stick out inside your cabinet, and that's probably not a very good thing. You then have to find some other screws, maybe some three-quarter inch long screws instead of this screw here looks like about an inch and a quarter or more. Okay, that, that went in. All right. And see, I might as well get this all set. That way I don't have to hold the little piece up there and everything. This is kind of a small screwdriver, but it's going to work. It's just something I found in the garage. I don't have my tools with me. Now, if that wouldn't have went in, and if you had a little sheetrock screw, you could, you could use that and get it started, you know, then back it out and put the other screw in, knowing that the other screw is not going to strip its head out, let's say. Okay. Now, could I have held that piece up there? Yeah, I could have. You know, I could have put the little trim piece up there and held it and then screwed it and stuff. But if this was giving me fits, just, just another something I got in my way, you know. And I know these holes are exact, don't I? They're exactly in the middle of that. And with that, you still have enough slop. Once you put the screw in there, if you think you have to get it, uh, if you have to move it or something, you can slide it over a little bit at the top and at the bottom, go this way, whatever, you know, before you tighten it up. That's if you're not using a template. That's if you don't have it level. And I didn't take a level or anything to it. I just measured off of the cabinet um, counter and went down knowing that okay it should be pretty close when they install this that it probably wasn't that far off well if you don't have something like that to measure with you can measure off the floor off the baseboard or you could take a little level on there and put your template up there take one side or put one screw in there swivel it up and then um, take your level on there you know what I mean and just put your level right on the template on the top of the template, let's say, you know, to where, to where you do it that way. I mean, there's lots of ways to do it. I just like using the template because it's a no-brainer, okay? All right, I'm going to finish that up. and I'm going to finish putting this one in here and just getting it set. I'll be right back and we'll put this puppy together. All right, let's put this on. I'm just gonna line that up. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory now, right? And these little clips, there's no top or bottom. They're both the same. I'm gonna have that there with it sticking out, okay? Now, if the top head of your screw strips out or something, you saw that I put, I had some little sheetrock screws, and you might think, why not just put the sheetrock screws? Well, um, these other ones are coated and they're more likely not going to rust, especially in water conditions. You've got a shower here, you've got the toilet here, you've got the sink here, the hot steam from the shower, from the bath, whatever. And eventually, if you have regular sheetrock screws, such as this, this is a drywall screw, coarse threads, you know, if you wanted to use something like that, they have sheetrock screws that have a coating on there, like galvanized or something like that and then those won't rust okay right now I'm just concentrating on getting the screws in I'm not going to tighten it up just yet 
Okay? Keep screwing.